Hello everyone, I am Rafael Barbosa, but you can call me a Scringa or Joker. You are on Fluttering, and today I'll introduce you to the Flutter Modular. But first, what is Modular? Modular is a package that can bring to you a simple way to modularize your applications using modules and submodules. For example, can bring to you a easy way, easy way to use the routing system, dependency injection, automatic memory management using the dispose and the best is the couplet. Now how it works? First let's understand better the structure of modular. How we can see here we have two modules and one module is the core of our the flutter modular. In this case we have the app module and inside we have two modules the home module and the ho the login module, but we can have different sub modules inside row module or the login module, right? Now uh, let's understand this. How are the routing of the modules, right? Here we are inside the app module, and our initial route is the login module, right? And we have the second module that the name for the second module are equal to slash room. Right. Okay. The question is how we can navigate through these modules. For example, when we are calling, in this case here, we are inside the login module, right? We are inside the login page. If you want to navigate to the roaming the room module, we can call the modular dot navigate, passing the parameter the name of the module. How we see here are the the slash room, right? When we call the navigate, we clean the stack, all the stack, and just call the our row module in this case. Just call the new module, right? When we call the modular dot two dot push named, we are not clean all the stack. We are just in put this new module on the same stack, right? Then for example when we call the navigate our stack will be clean, right? And when this happens, modular will dispose everything inside our login module. And what I mean with this, let's see here. For example, in the login module, we have our instance of login store that will be a lazy singleton, right? And when we exit from the login module, Every, using the navigate, everything inside here will be auto disposed, and this is awesome. This is awesome to our, for example, because we don't have an infinite uh, memory in our cell phones, right? We need to take care of this. Now, one question is how we can recover the login store in this case? Okay, now let's understand. We have two ways to do this. The first way is using how I showed here in this screenshot is for example declaring the final login store store equal modular dot get when we are calling the modular dot get we are calling to modular hey modular look inside our binds if this login store exists right then modular go inside our binds and look at the first at the first bind in this case we have only the login store when the modular finds this then we have access here uh, to the login store then for example if you are using mobex you can access our your observables your actions without any problem right okay uh, but now how how happens what how we can do with the memory management right how I said modular do this auto right automatic memory man management and this is awesome because modular know when you close the module they know how they need to clean all your binds right if you close the login module all your binds here will be cleaned right if you go to the home module all bytes inside of your row module will be initialized and if you go back we close the module every bind will be exposed 
okay and one thing that i like in modular because it's awesome it's because it's the couplet right it's easy to use your project and easy to remove from your project and this is awesome i i like this and modular it's very interesting using the clean architecture right because using two using both your application will be very scalable scalable right now thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel fluttering and if you are here at the first time welcome this is our first series about modular this is a simple intro and please uh like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe it thank you